Hey folks, uh, today's video we're going to go over the uh, installation of the uh, wing crutch. It's a bunch of frames which holds the uh, wings in, keeps them strong and doesn't let them come off. Hopefully that's happened before. Um, also we're going to be doing uh, the installation of the brand new EDF design for the twin EDFs. Going to put those in and uh, we're going to also uh, put the uh, landing gear rails in and a few other things. This is a really complex internal structure. The A6 it has a lot of brand new parts that I've designed over the last two weeks. So uh, this video is going to be short. I'm keeping the video shorter now. Uh, normally they were 10, 15 minutes. Now I'm going to put them down to probably around five minutes because YouTube is telling me that people are only watching the uh, movies for an average of one and a half minutes, maybe two at the most. So it's not worth my time to give you some really in-depth videos. So anyhow, let's get on with it and we'll see how it goes. This is where the uh, wing tube bolts to. This stops the wing from coming out. On the opposite side, you can see an actual wing tube that goes into that. This whole section on both sides goes into the uh, fuselage where you can see that big deep root. That gives it a lot of strength. Then the rest of the frames are made up with these uh, braces. Uh, there's miscellaneous braces which interlock around the whole part and gives a lot of good strength. With that said, now I just installed it. I used the uh, Gorilla expandable foam. Uh, it works great. It uh, sticks to anything, love it. The uh, frame itself is lined up by just running the uh, tube sleeve through the fuselage from both uh, roots and that lines everything up. Okay, I have the uh, EDF mounts uh, all glued together, ready to go. So now we're gonna install them. So I've got everything marked out. So I'm just gonna use Gorilla Glue. Okay, lining up on this side. Lining up on that side. And push into place. A few weights on this just to make sure it doesn't move on me. pound weights snug as a bug in a rug left so that sort of sneaks up like that and as you can see these are old ducks from the, the crash victim so the biggest problem is trying to get this lip So now I'm just doing the uh, test fit. Uh, I've put a bit of tape on. It just gets the angles and so forth. So I just pulled it out and then uh, later on I'll fit them properly. Okay, I've laser cut the uh, retract rails. <clears throat> I did screw up a little bit on one side. Uh, so I had to make a new set of rails, which was slightly extended on the uh, right hand side, which is the other side. Uh, so what we're going to do is take these out now. And then we're going to put blind nuts underneath both of them. All right, this is how I do my blind nuts. So I've attached the blind nuts to both sides now uh, and I've slid them into the appropriate slots and glued them in place. So we're ready to go with uh, testing some landing gear. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to show you a little trick that I use. This retract here is all uh, busted up from a hard landing. I believe it was a crosswind. So it got all bent up. So rather than just toss the case out, what I do is I take the uh, motor and the electronics gearbox, all that stuff out. So it's freewheeling like that. And that allows me to test my placement of uh, landing gear and whatever. Yeah. So what I like about it is I can put my struts on and I can just rotate them into the whoops, into the position I want and test them all out. This has uh, saved me a ton of time because when I used to do it uh, with the live e-tract, the electronic retract, um after time you'd wear the bloody uh gearbox out by the time you've you know messed around sometimes you catch it it gets stuck and so forth so anyhow there's a tip always keep your your bodies so guys uh, i've tried to keep the movie down to around six minutes so i uh, hope this uh makes you enjoy them more and maybe you'll watch it the entire movie and uh help me out if you don't like this format you don't like watching my movies just let me know in the comments and let me know what you want to change because uh, it's a lot of work to do these things thanks a lot for watching bye